Bonjour. Today, <laughs> Hello again. we're going to France yes, because it's one of the places we really miss being. Yes, indeed. And so we have some uh, very typical French food. And well, we have delicious French delicious food. French I wouldn't French say food. it's typical because I made these lovely baguettes, but there's sans gluten. They, uh, I have celiac disease, so I had to... I got the baking thing going on, but I have to say, I got to show off the crumb. It's not bad for a gluten-free ba gluten baguette. It, so um, it's actually very good for. Gluten so why don't you do the honors? And we have a and we have a little champagne <sighs> since we're talking France, and it's the end of the year, and we are beginning to think that you know we should celebrate the appropriate. And these are darling little glasses that are made in one of the oldest glass factories in France. And there's a little B symbol on the glass that is uh, from the molds that were uh, part of the original, what was it? Uh, or Napoleon. Napoleon's coronation luggage. There you go. Yeah. And just to add to the travel fun, we got these in a little shop in San Diego. San Diego. Uh, when we were, so go figure. Yeah, when we were meeting uh, Pam and Ron and going whining. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Mm. And so, so this is a this little champagne from the house of Mum. 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 Me Mum. And and, and mm. it's it, nice. Oh, and it's got a little this mineral is, thing going on. It is. Mm, mm. And the thing is, I don't even like champagne, and so this was given to us. Um, we think a very long time ago for our wedding, which we've been married a little while. Um, I bet you're going like, who are these goobers anyway? Some people know who we are, but that's Eric and it's Lori right there. Um, but generally they make, champ mostly they make champagne out of Chardonnay grapes. Out and I Chardonnay couldn't grapes. figure out why I love Cava and Prosecco, but I hate sh uh, champagne. But they don't always make it out of Chardonnay. So uh, you're right. So they can use three different grapes, and this is one of those three. This is a Pinot Noir, mm -hmm. which is a really tough grape to grow, but wow, is it good! It makes a great red wine, and it makes a spectacular champagne. And we were trying to find a French red wine, and oh, mon Dieu, there's no red wine on our shelves, and we're gonna have a roast duck tonight. No, no French red wine. No French red wine. Let's on be this. really clear about I, that. I misspoke. Mm, yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> um, Terrible. But then, because we're having a roast duck, um, there was this gorgeous, uh, gorgeous duck liver in there. So um, we weren't going to do France right away because you know it's a little, it's too easy. Well, and, you know, French wine, and, and French we'll, food, and we'll we'll be to France several times. We'll be to because, France several times because we we food. have we have to do Champagne. That's a region of France, right? And then we have Le Duc, and we have Bordeaux. And we have uh, so many fun places. Oh my, uh, Cote de Rhone and so Loire I Valley. So I made this lovely little pate, melted the butter for the little topping, some cornichon, and some of our favorite sheep cheese from the Pyrenees, which is also on our list. We've not been in France. In French, in France, you know, yeah. sheep cheese yeah. in the French Pyrenees. Yeah, Bosalrati, which I might be spelled, uh, pronouncing wrong, but you know. There you go. I, so, I do. I do have to say that mm. as, as winemakers, you we do, find you do that while I'm, okay. I'm going to eat some pate. Do it. Pate. As winemakers, I, I we really admire the folks who make champagne because it's a lot of work, and it for if if you don't know, so so champagne is actually fermented three times, three different times, and the the first time they ferment it is like any wine. They bring the grapes in, they ferment it uh, for a couple of weeks, primary fermentation. And um, and once that's done, then they blend that wine, and they mm -hmm. add more sugar, and more yeast, and they put it in a bottle, like a champagne bottle, and they actually put a cap on the top of it, like a a, a beer bottle <laughs> top. Or in our in our cidery, we actually use these types of caps as crown Crowns. caps. Uh, and the champagne bottle, the mouth of the champagne bottle is just bigger. This is one of ours. And so you yeah. have to get a special one. And so, mm, hold mm, on. Because mm, 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 we're mm, going to. Thank you. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. Because there's and a reason why people drink champagne with pate or eat pate with champagne. That's beautiful. That, that 
the fat. The mineral. Yeah, oh, it's so good. good. Anyway, so the second fermentation Sorry, takes place in the bottle. And that's the one, that's all right, and that's the one that makes all the bubbles, right? That's the carbon dioxide because, you know, yeast and sugar releases carbon dioxide. And so, so and, and it, it gets sediment in it. And so after it ferments in the bottle for sometimes months, maybe a year sometimes, maybe two sometimes, it, but, but for a number of weeks or months, then that bottle with the sediment on the bottom is turned up in a rack and it sort of starts at about that angle and then there is this person who is called a, a, a riddler right so it, it, riddler is not only the name of somebody on batman it's actually on somebody's resume and and so it, it figure. and the riddler goes through every week or two well every few days actually Ooh. and rotates the bottle a little Sorry, bit I'm reaching across because and moves it so it becomes more perpendicular until after about eight weeks, the bottle is sitting like this. And then they take the bottle from the rack and dip the neck of it in a brine solution, just like, just like you would have if you were making homemade ice cream, you know, like rock salt and ice. And it freezes the neck of the bottle. The, it takes about eight weeks for the sediment to come into the neck of the bottle. That freezes the neck of the bottle. They turn it back up like this. They take the lid off and the carbon dioxide Boom. Exactly, B blows out all the sediment, and also a little bit of the wine. Oh, so then they take one of those bottles and they add more sugar, to, a little more sugar to dosage. it. Dosage. It dosage, and they and they fill the bottles back to the fill line, and then they put the cork and the bale on them that we typically see, and so it sits then, and and it, so you, it ends up getting carbon dioxide two times. And, and with that, the dosage, with the second carbon dioxide, is why you get the little tiny, little, tiny bubbles. bubbles. Rather than the, like the harsh bubbles, the big bubbles that hurt your face when you drink uh, crappy sparkling wine or a soda. Right. Which is great in the summertime if you've got like, you know, so the, so desert the, mouth. Exactly. But, you know, <laughs> so those back. So those are the little tiny mm. bubbles that, that you get in champagne. And that you get in really good sparkling ciders that are done the same way, that are bottle conditioned in a similar nice. fashion. This is the bottle conditioning. This is and quite it's, nice. It's really quite good. So, and so I encourage you to think about checking out the, oh, 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 I should better also. Better champagne. Oh, this was a thing before we go, because yeah. our last one was a little long. Oh, gosh, this is running a little long, too. Oh, yes. Hope you like us. Um, I tried every kind of cap imaginable to, and I, like, wine spectator, I ordered this thing and paid, like, $27 for it, and um, it didn't even keep the fizz overnight. Mm -mm. But this is a really nice, and I'll post the link to where you get these in it, but it's got the piece, graduated rings, and a piece that goes down into the bottle rather than the, most of the champagne caps just sit kind of sit on top and then they have these wings that go down and this and they and they also leak you can't leave it on its side or travel with it but this goes way down in the bottle and then this holds it on and we've had um, even wines with very delicate bubbles have retained their fizz for a long long time days and days, days and, and days. so weeks um, like, so it's not that we're averse to drinking a whole bottle of wine in an evening but um, often that's not you know exactly. I don't know exactly so we do that and it oh, so it fits really tight and it's a very good product so and I, I, I will well and we have so far not receiving any kind of you know promotional <laughs> no. So, so this is just so, because I love this very much. It's, it's, and, uh, it's really good. And and I so so I'm so not sure I said thing, this out loud. Wait, two, more sure two more things. Two more things. Two more things. Champagne is about to celebrate its two hundredth birthday. Hmm. And so about Happy birthday, about champagne. yeah about eighteen the in from the region of Champagne. So about eighteen twenty two is when it began. And the house of Mum, which is where mom. this is from. It was 1827. 
And so that and that's, this is lovely. That's Pinot Noir grapes, yeah. not the crappy Chardonnay grapes. And that's what I was going to suggest. That was the second thing I was going to say: is think about other possibilities. There are three grapes that you, they can use for well, this, and so not explore inexpen- those possibilities. Not an expensive kind of thing, but really, for all of the labor that goes into the méthode champignoise, you know, I, I just you know you got to grow the grapes and you got to mash them up and you got to ferment them and then you got three to times riddle me this and then do the popping and you know it's it's messy and it's uh yeah anyway as winemakers it's you know we extra appreciate these we extra appreciate these things so 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 we encourage you to uh give it a try along along with a little duck pate and osal iraq so good there is a roast duck in the oven but i'm not sure i might just eat the whole tub of pate and she's not gonna get all of it i guarantee Um, you she's not gonna get so anyway salut um salut um, I don't think that's the That's case. not. I realize I'm just going all over the world with my language. We it are, happens. We're on the way to all over the world. You can. You, oh, it, yeah. It, and it, with dinner, with the duck at dinner, we're going to have a Pinot Noir to keep with the theme, but from New Zealand, New Zealand earring, because, because we were there, we were on our way there last year at this, this time. This time last year. So, and, and they make some of the best Pinot Noir in the world. Yum. Yum. Cheers. Cheers. To a light-filled 2021. We'll talk to you soon.